Hey, my name's Kevin McGuire, and I front a band called The Gama Senin, and uh, it got started back in October of 2016 when a couple of my friends and I headed out to Rancho de Luna in Joshua Tree, California. You may know some of them from some pretty big records from Daft Punk and Boingo Boingo, The Burning Brides, and Off, and Queens of the Stone Age, and Earthlings, and we kind of just laid the seeds and took this journey with this music over the course of four and a half years, including COVID. And it, we went from Joshua Tree to Stinson Beach to Costa Rica and Capitol Records and even through Chicago and Detroit. Big fan of Dave Ketching and everything he's done and the community that he set up out there and how many great people have come through. So I was really, really, really lucky to be able to take my little band of misfit toys starting with my co-producer Peter Franco and Adam Maples who's been playing in the Earthlings with Dave Ketching for nearly 20-30 years and it was just a real beautiful journey and it was a lot of fun to make and from the Rancho we went to John Avila's house. John Avila is a big part of Oingo Boingo and wrote a lot of the, the horn sections and everything and all those really big hits from the 80s like Dead Man's Party and uh, from there we went back into the studio with Chris Caswell and Dimitri Coates at, up at Stinson Beach at Panoramic House which is this gorgeous studio that overlooks Stinson Beach California oh. it's just beautiful cinematic California coastline and um, you know we just tried to make an experience for people it's 10 songs presented over three different acts like a typical theatrical performance so really what you have is the beginning of a journey with I kill you lines alone without and it's the altitude and then kind of the realization and reflection period in act two with Trigger Finger, La Ventana, the photographer, and Got It Made. And then in act three, you really have the songs about moving forward and becoming a better entity of yourself. And that's not where the journey is gonna end. There are two more full-length records coming out after this in the next few years, and it's gonna take another path. 